Uh, first things first, we did just start the game here, so I did just leave the Imperial Sewers. That is the only thing we've done is completed the Imperial Sewer intro portion of the game. But essentially, you are going to at least want to make sure that you grab like a couple things from the sewers. Uh, one of the most important things you're going to want to grab are probably going to be some of the scrolls, at least the chameleon scroll, just because um, it's got a high enough value to it that it's 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 a quite useful one to use for duplication. But yeah, essentially we're gonna be using scrolls here for duplication. So the first step that we are going to do, aside from making sure that we have some of the items from the intro, which is just to make sure that we have enough money, by the way. The first step though is gonna be, we're gonna go to the Imperial Market District and we're gonna go buy some more scrolls. All right, so the store you are looking for is, I believe the Mystic Emporium, is that what it is? Yeah, the Mystic Emporium right here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, like I said, buy some scrolls. It doesn't actually matter which scrolls you get. You just need to make sure that whatever scroll you get, you have more than one of them that you can buy. And then other than that, pretty much just get the cheapest one, really. So bound boots for 22 gold each. There's two of them. That's pretty much perfect. We're going to buy both of them. And the way this exploit works is that you basically equip whatever scroll has multiple of that scroll and whatever item you drop after equipping that scroll, it will drop that many of that item. So you see here, I have two of these scrolls. So if I equip these two scrolls and I drop, say, the chameleon scroll here, it will drop two scrolls, right? So here we go, I just did that. We started with one, but as you can see here, we have two of them. Now you'll notice here that we have two of each scroll. And this is where things start to get a little bit weird with this exploit, because if you have the same number of items as you have of the scroll, it will not duplicate it. So you see here, I equip the two scrolls, I drop the chameleon scrolls, it'll actually just drop both of them at the same time, and you just get two. Now if you aren't familiar with dropping in this game, if I were to drop it under a normal circumstance, it would drop them one at a time. So you can tell that the exploit is still like quote unquote working because it drops the whole stack, but because they have the same number, the same value, it doesn't actually duplicate them. So what you want to do when you duplicate the first one, you want to you want to leave one of them on the ground. So just don't pick up one of them so that you still only have one of them in your inventory. And you're going to equip the bound boots again, drop the chameleon scroll again. Hello. And now you should have Hello. three chameleon scrolls. Is a sneaky... These guys really going to sit here and talk right now? Anyway, so now that we have three of the chameleon scrolls, what we can do is we can use the chameleon scrolls to duplicate the bound boot scrolls. Since we now have more of the chameleon scroll than the bound boots, it will let us do this now. So. What you will notice is that it only drops one of them instead of the whole stack. So the other strange caveat about this exploit is that it will always drop things in multiples that are divisible by the original number. So two is not divisible by three, so it drops the next divisible number, which is just one. But the other caveat here is that when it drops the one, it actually drops a full stack of three, but you'll notice that we still have another scroll here. So what we can do actually, is just click this again and drop that again to get all six of them to fall. We get, for some reason, we get like a group of two. I don't really know why it does it that way, but we'll get a group of two and then four individual ones for a total of six. And essentially what you're doing is just gonna be going back and forth, doing this over and over again. You'll notice that um, six is divisible by three, so it did drop the entire stack there, and it'll drop it in stacks of three. You're gonna pick one of them up just like last time so that you can duplicate it again, because of course, if you were to pick up all six, you wouldn't be able to duplicate six with six. So you got to make sure you're only picking up, you know, half of them every other time, right? So anyways, now we have nine chameleon and six bound boots. And again, we're just going to keep doing it back and forth. Uh, again, you will notice that it will drop it in a stack of three because nine is divisible by three. But we're going to do it twice in a row, of course. That'll leave us with 18, which of course is divisible by nine. So it is going to drop the whole thing. And we're going to have to just pick up half the stack, right? Do that back and forth. And so essentially that's the pattern. You're gonna be dropping twice essentially like that. And then you'll end up with something that's divisible. So you'll drop the whole stack and you'll only pick up one of these and then you'll duplicate it again to drop it. And then so on and so forth, right? Until eventually you end up with like hundreds of scrolls, literally. Now the second part to this is, uh, you know, you can kind of just use this as like a money making method more or less. So once you have a bunch of scrolls, you can literally just sell these to him. So you can just keep doing this and just keep selling them to him. Uh, what I'll normally do though, is I will create a couple like specific stacks of these things. What I'll normally do is I'll have like specific groupings of these. So I'll have like one that's maybe set to like 10 or 20, one that's set to 100, maybe one that's set to like 50 or something. So like you could drop these, which by the way, 
If you if you do a large stack and drop a singular item, you will get a lot, a lot, a lot of things dropped, by the way. So that is something you may want to keep in mind, depending on how much you want your game to lag or potentially crash. It might not be the smartest thing for you to click a, you know, 100 to 200 stack or more or whatever, and then like drop something else. Um, I might as well just give you guys a quick demonstration of that. If you guys have seen any of like the super duper classic Oblivion videos on YouTube of the era, yeah, you might have seen the video where somebody duplicates 10,000 melons and drops them off of a tower. And it's, it's quite the doozy. But let me just show you guys, just because I might as well show you guys. Just what you can do with this damn thing, right? All right, so now that we have a thousand chameleon scrolls, let's drop an iron warhammer and see if it doesn't crash my game, right? Oh, who am I kidding? Let's drop two items, why don't we? Because you can drop more than one item at once, by the way. Well, let's let's drop so many items. Let's fuck this shit the fuck up, bro. Let's fuck it all up. Oh god, and the game did not like that one bit. Oh, it fucking crash crashed. Okay, okay. That's okay too. Anyway, so that is the duplication exploit. It is definitely, definitely, definitely one of the most useful exploits in the game. I particularly use it to duplicate things like arrows and potions, which are probably some of the best things you can do with it. You, especially if you find like some nice enchanted arrows, it's nice to be able to, you know, duplicate like a couple hundred of those. Definitely, definitely comes in handy. The other good thing obviously is potions. So, you know, uh, you can just drip feed yourself health potions, mana potions, whatever, while you're in battle. I'll usually duplicate myself like a good hundred or so healing potions, hundred fatigue potions, hundred mage potions, and then I'll put them in my, uh, my, my equipment slots or whatever. Other thing it's good for, obviously, is just like money making in general. You can duplicate things and just sell them over and over and over again and get massive amounts of money. Obviously, that's a really good thing you can do with this exploit as well. You can duplicate most items as far as I remember. I think the only exceptions are some enchanted items. I believe some enchanted items do actually let you duplicate them somehow. I think it might just be items that you enchant yourself. But yeah, some enchanted items are duplicatable. Some are not. I think it's just the unique enchanted items that are not. I don't know. I don't know what the uh, the exact caveat is there, but some of the enchanted items are not going to be duplicatable. I think even just some random equipment items in general are going to not be uh, duplicatable, like random armor pieces and weapons are going to be non-duplicatable for pretty much no reason, it seems. But it is good for, like, if you wanted to... There's, like, the enchanting exploit or whatever where you can get permanent enchantments, and the duplication exploit is pretty much paramount to that exploit actually not only is it like literally a function of that exploit too but it allows you to duplicate things like well really any item that you wanted to enchant so you could duplicate like a gold necklace get like 10 different gold necklaces that you enchant to stack enchantments with or if you just wanted 10 different necklaces with 10 different enchantments it's a good way to get 10 different necklaces right so yeah all sorts of fun uses for that i do believe it is slightly different on the xbox version of the game the weird caveat about the xbox version of the game is that for some reason you have to hold a in, on the pc version you you simply just equip the scroll right you equip the scroll and then you drop the thing apparently on the xbox version you have to not only equip the scroll but you have to keep holding a after you've equipped the scroll and then while you're holding a you're going to move to the item you want to duplicate you're going to drop it with x and then you're going to let go of a and then you close your menu and it should be duplicated so it's like one extra step you're basically holding down the select button so like it would be the same as me like clicking this and holding down the click button, which holy shit, I did not know that was a function of the game. What the fuck? I just discovered something like before your guys' eyes. I didn't know you could, I've been playing this game for like, I've been playing this game for like 16 years. And I had no clue you could do that. That's kind of neat. You can just drop stuff straight into your hand by holding click. Say what? That's interesting. Anyways, so that's it for this video. Just wanted to do a little update on the duplication glitch video. I did make this video previously, um, but it was a little like choppy here and there and the audio was actually kind of bad too. Like literally the audio was broken in that video and I still went with it. Yeah, anyways, that's the duplication exploit. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And of course, as always, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member, help support this channel monetarily, help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. Yeah, that being said, it's been Plock the Master Gamer with some Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.